Back to Tulip Time at 739. Today is the famous Kinder Parade in Holland, a beloved event of the festival. Yeah, it's expected to be another big weekend in the city. So we've got our Lauren Coomer. She's been live for us in Holland our morning, getting us prepped for what we can expect today and beyond. What do you have for us this hour, Lauren? Yeah, good morning to you both. It's an exciting day here in Holland. It's the first parade of Tulip Time for this year. And a big part of Tulip Time is that Dutch dancing. It's a huge tradition here and a lot of people, visitors and the community love to come and watch. We are joined by the program director and a dancer here at Tulip Time for Dutch dancing. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. So tell us a little bit about what people can expect with this Dutch dancing. You guys pretty much perform every day of Tulip Time. We do. We actually started last week performing on the street. Every day, it's the same dance, and every day we get the crowds filling the sidewalks front to back. It's pretty special. And now you guys wear these traditional costumes, including the shoes, which are a big part of that. Talk about what type of dancing they see. Obviously, it differs from the traditional types of dance. Yeah, so we do a type of folk dance, and... We have a lot of fun. We do a lot of stomping, a lot of clomping, a lot of clapping, and a lot of what we call windmilling. All right. And you mentioned that there are so many children here in the community that get involved. What types of numbers do you see when it comes to that? Yeah, so we have third grade through eighth graders that have joined us a few years back, and my daughter is one of them, which is pretty cool this year. Um, between our elementary school, middle school, and our high school adults, we have just under 800 dancers this year. And now, Ava, I wanted to ask you, since you are involved in that and you have been dancing, how many years have you been dancing and what do you love most about being involved? I have danced like two years, but I've watched it since I was very little. One of my favorite things is the sound of the shoes when they hit the road. It's just a very pleasing sound. And we were talking a little bit before this and you make good friendships because you're dancing with so many other kids and students. Um, have you been close with your group of, of girls that you've been dancing with? I have. I actually, one of my friends goes to the same school as me, and so do a few dancers in my group. And so I would love to see if you guys could show us a little bit of the moves that you yeah. know people will experience today if you could. We're going to teach you the windmill. Okay. So you're going to put your right hand up, okay. your left hand down by your side. You're going to step on your right foot and kick that left foot out, and you're going to jump three times. <laughs> And then you're gonna switch and jump three ah. times. And then you switch. Yeah. That's easy enough. I can maybe yeah. join in. There you go. <laughs> and you guys have been practicing for so long. Obviously, a lot goes into this. Um, talk about you know that process and, and getting everybody to come together and make this happen. Yeah, we start practicing in January. We start planning for practicing all the way back in June. So next month we start again. And we enjoy being able to have these groups of people join all together. Um, our kinder and middles join a little later because they don't have as long of a dance. Our full dance is almost 15 minutes long. So it takes a while to practice and to learn and to do it right. Um, it's pretty cool to watch them all learn at their own pace. I know some people struggle, but some people just think it's the funnest thing. And uh, I'm one of those that just is obsessed with it and I can do it in my sleep. It's fun. <laughs> I mean, just doing that small move right there. I'm like, I want to get involved now. Well, thank you guys both so much for joining us. If people would love to come and watch, where can they get more information on where you'll be and your times and performances? Yep, tuliptime.com has all of our events for the day. Dutch Dance is definitely included, so make sure you check it out. All right, thank you so thank much. You. And they will be dancing today ahead of the Kinder Parade that starts at noon. They will be dancing after as well, as well as walking in the parade, so you can definitely come out today. If you can't make it out, a lot of that information is up on the website. For now, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Reporting live in Holland, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News. Lauren, you like are a natural. I mean, I just have to see you do that move one more time before yes. we head off to break. Oh, I don't know about that. No? <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna do, the, do we're it. gonna do the move one more time. Ready? Right, here they one, go. two, three. <laughs> Yay! Very good, ladies. This is actually really good. Love it. Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> we'll check back in with you in just yeah. a little bit. And that's having that's so one of the main fun. hubs there where Lauren is for the Dutch dancing. They closed down that street, <laughs> and that's, that's where you can go watch.